Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video, I wanted to show off a little bit of why we probably need crossplay. I'm just showing my build, of course, because there's always going to be someone that asks to see it. It is my normal Gunlance build, using this talisman. And here are the skills and decorations, of course. All the green numbers are from decorations, as usual. This is on PC, by the way, in the Australian region. So all across Australia, these are the only servers that we have. This is literally all we've had throughout all of Rise and Sunbreak. Maybe one page worth of, of servers to actually go to. And as you can see, well, apart from Maka, apparently, a lot of people don't even get that far. And genuinely don't get that far. So let's hop into one. The SOS isn't much better. I can rarely ever find a group to actually play with. It's quite unfortunate because the game's fantastic. And they're doing leveling quests. <laughs> that, that's all they're doing. They're probably trying to get to like 150 or something, get Risen Shaggy unlocked and whatnot. But yeah, if this is how bad it is on PC, for those that are saying it obviously, I can change regions. I am on PC. I have the luxury of just changing to a different region, which I might be throwing on screen. I can change to any region. I can go to America, can go to Canada, can go to Japan. There's plenty of people I can find. But the primary issue is with console. Console, you can't change region just like that. You can't find people to play with just like that. So I think it would heavily, heavily benefit, at least not this game, but the future Monster Hunter games, because I plan on playing through a lot of the Monster Hunters from onwards. I did try and go back, but honestly didn't enjoy the game that much. That's why we're going forwards rather than backwards. But, uh, yeah. It, it would heavily benefit the game, and there's honestly no reason there shouldn't be, like, some sort of crossplay. Even if you exclude PC, again, we can, uh, we can somewhat deal with it. Because we can just change region, as I said. We can find people that way. Albeit it's a little bit annoying to change region repeatedly to actually try and find someone. But it'll definitely help out, especially on console, because console you can't do it, obviously. So it would definitely, definitely help out to be able to just swap region, or once again, crossplay. Crossplay would be the simplest solution. Even if you have to exclude PC from that crossplay, it would definitely help out. And as I said, it's not just the lobbies that you can't find people either. I will literally sit there for like 10, 20, 30 minutes and not be able to find a single SOS. At least for anomaly monsters, but I don't want to go into a master rank monster quest. Because I'm just going to bully it. Augmented gear is very broken and our sets are so strong at the moment that we could probably bully any master rank monster in like 3 minutes, even if it's 4 player scaling, on your own. <laughs> Alright, we got into another one. It's the same lobby. Wanted to help them out a little bit. Maybe they're just trying to build up their sets or something before they do anomalies. But uh... Yeah, in the hopes that this reaches anyone at Capcom or anyone working on the Monster Hunter games, please give us crossplay. Again, at least just for the consoles. PC, it, it doesn't matter all that much. And we can use other ways to make finding lobbies and whatnot easier through Discord and, I don't know, Steam groups and stuff. There's plenty of ways we can find people. Just give it to the console at least. Just let them play together. That way there's no cheating or anything either. That's the easiest solution to it. That'll make SOS's like cross-region cross-play. I don't know. There's plenty of ways you could go about it. And I know Capcom have the ability to do it. You just have a massive team for it too. So it wouldn't be all that difficult to actually just do it. Okay, nice. Also, this is Valstrax. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how I go here. I usually don't fight him with Gunlance, even though it's not that bad of a matchup because you can still break his arms relatively easily with Gunlance, because our shells ignore hit zones and whatnot. But it's generally not the best idea. I should be able to block all this. Yeah, he didn't even hit me. That's fine. Just go towards him. Okay, nice. Also, they gave me guild cards and stuff. <laughs> I'm glad that I don't have more hunts than the other max level person in here with one weapon, because that's usually how it is. It's good to see people actually playing multiple weapons and stuff. Okay. None of that, lad. I got guard 10, so there's nothing he can really do. Wait, is this even... This is regular Valstrax, it's not even Risen. Oh boy, he's gonna die real fast then. Poor bugger. Give him a good one of them. You running Slugger? That Odd that it insta-stuns. Most people don't run Slugger anymore. But I guess it's a regular monster, so you can actually use, uh... What's it called? 
a slugger set and it'll be okay. Because the diminishing returns just make it not worth it anymore. That's why you don't really bring it. But not too bad. Okay, nice. Knock down. Again, it's a regular monster. This is just kind of what happens. They get bullied. That's why we only fight anomalies. Especially if it's, uh... Like a regular Elder Dragon. I haven't fought one of these in ages. Nice. There's the mount. Auto mount? Yeah, auto mount. That's fine. Again, new people. It's fine. Completely okay. That and honestly with the, uh, the damage that the two low people might be doing. Mount's probably better. You gotta think of it that way, essentially. You give them a free knockdown, they get to go wild for a bit. Without having to worry about anything. I think we broke... I don't know, is that the face? I think we broke the face. Yeah, it was. Okay. Slam. Nice. He's a little bit scary when he's slow in all honesty. Did he just double slap? That's unfortunate. <laughs> Is it because he's bound, maybe, that he decided to just do double slap? Because he normally definitely doesn't do that. But that's fine. Nice, it's still hit. Get some more pokes going. Some good blasting. I'm not doing wide and fire because I don't think I have shockproof on here. So I'd end up knocking people back, which I don't want to do. We obviously do a lot more damage if I'm not tripping people or blasting them away. It's a good idea. Another stun. Yeah, he's definitely running slugger. That's fine. No issue with that. Okay. There we go. Some more damage. Blasting away. Okay. Get behind him. Get some more sneak attack as well. Yeah, he's blue. See? About three minutes. Three to five minutes usually for a regular monster. Just because we do that much damage. That's fine. Okay. Block. Block. And then we uh, land that powder mantle damage. Easy. Very, very easy. Yeah, four minutes. Maybe share this around, something like that. Try and reach someone at Capcom or Monster Hunter. Because they definitely didn't listen all that much with Rise, at least to content creators. Because I was pointing out so many issues during Rise and Summer Rake, But it just wasn't listened to. Still no Armor Sphere quest. And we'll never get one because the game's finished. We had our last update. No buffs to Gunlance, even though it performs well enough. Well everybody, that has been a quick video going over, hopefully pushing for crossplay, at least for the consoles once again. It would be nice if PC could get in there, but I completely understand why we wouldn't be allowed to, because of all the modding and whatnot. But at least for the consoles, again Capcom, Monster Hunter, if anyone hears this, please consider crossplay. I know you have the capability, and it would definitely work with the game series, since this game is so heavily focused on multiplayer and enjoying multiplayer. As always though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.